If you haven't met the iTunes genius, make sure you're connected to the Internet, and then click the Show Hide Genius Sidebar button. When the Genius Sidebar appears, you simply click Turn on Genius. If you aren't logged in to the Apple Store, you'll need to enter your Apple ID and password. Once you've logged in, a Genius Terms of Service page will appear. Once you have read the conditions, click the checkbox and then select Continue. The thing that makes Genius so wickedly smart is that it can help you get creative with your playlists. Just select any song in your library and click the Genius button. iTunes Genius then scours through the rest of your library to find great companion songs for the one you picked out. In the source pane, you see the new Genius Recommended Playlist. If you like the playlist that Genius put together, click Save Playlist and give it a name. But if the songs you see aren't up your alley, click Refresh. Genius will try again and present you with another set of songs from your library. Genius knows more than what's in your library. It knows everything that's in the iTunes Store and can recommend related songs and other items that you don't already own. When you select any song from your library, Genius fills up its sidebar with store items that it sees as related to the song you chose. If any of these items grabs your interest, you can preview and download it right from the Genius sidebar. When you're ready for a little alone time with your iTunes library, you can turn off Genius by choosing Store and then Turn Off Genius. A window will appear asking you if you're sure. Click Turn Off Genius to confirm.